Hey, what's up everyone, Ben at ProFixer, and today on the channel, we're gonna be talking about iPad home buttons once again, but we're gonna be doing it a little bit differently than the first video. In the first video, I showed you how to align the bracket, make sure it sits flush up against the glass, and just get that OEM feel to it. However, sometimes you run across an iPad that has lost its little nub from the back side, making it no longer click, and it won't react to the bracket no matter how you place it. So we do need to actually replace the back of the nub and make it click once again. So we'll be showing you how to do all of that, but everything in my workbench is linked up in the description below. So be sure to check all of that out. And also don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment what you wanna see in future videos. But without further ado, let's get started on replacing the nub on this iPad home button. All right, so here in front of me, I have an iPad home button that I've actually removed. This is the Touch ID version uh, for an iPad 6 generation. And on this particular one, uh, the thing is, it is missing the little black nub from the back. Years ago, I purchased a whole bunch of these buttons from China, and I actually purchased probably about 50 to 75 of them and have them sitting in the drawer, and I use them occasionally to replace the button nub. Uh, this is actually a really easy thing to do. You don't want to just rip off the little black dot, but you want to actually take off the capped on tape square. Uh, so whenever you look at these here, you'll notice that they are uh, gold. Uh, they're only gold because of capped on tape. Capped on tape is like a copper colored tape. And on top of that tape, it has a little black nub that touches the back of the bracket and making it click. Um, essentially with these buttons they have almost like a dinner plate design where it's like a little dome and when you push on it it collapses it and when it collapses it touches and completes the circuit making the home button actually actuate and making the home button or making the iPad recognize that the home button has been pushed in so the way that you remove these is go ahead and take one from your strip if you don't have one of these strips available you can actually take another iPad home button or like an, uh, like an iPhone 3GS or iPhone 4 uh, would work as well uh, but go ahead and take that out and then you want to get a pretty brand new razor blade and you want to slice off the capped on tape so working on one of the corners you'll just slide this right in and uh, and work very carefully it's kind of tedious and kind of weird but you'll be able to pull off this entire piece if you are very careful and it's actually pretty difficult to do you may need to use your microscope if you've never done this before um, we had done this for years actually before we had a microscope so <laughs> pretty easy uh, to do in that respect um, since we haven't had since we didn't have one before um, but what you're going to be left with is you're going to be left with just the uh, little piece of capped on tape and the black dot um, what you'll do is go ahead and grab that with your tweezers I have applied a little bit of primer to the back side of my home button um, and also cleaned off the rest of the black nub. Um, so if you do have any of the black nub left on there, you can get like a screwdriver and just kind of lightly scrape it off, clean it with some alcohol. Um, you don't want to flood it with it because it could cause the capped on tape on the original home button to fall off. Um, but as long as everything is clean, then you can go ahead and take um, the replacement sticker essentially and you can lay that right back over the top you'll want to align the dot directly in the middle and also orient the square so it best matches the original home button itself. So we're gonna lay that on there. Looks like it's on. And then what you wanna do is go ahead and press it down, right? And then you're gonna to wanna to use your tweezers and just kinda of, you know, rub all over the capped on area to uh, push up any of the little bubbles. And now, if you were going to install this home button back onto an iPad, it's going to have the proper spacing um, so that the dinner plate dome design will actually snap and collapse, causing um, a, a completion in the circuit. Uh, so we take like the back end of the tweezers and press it on here flat. You can then feel that the home button is actuating, whereas before it wasn't because it didn't have the proper spacers. Um, so as you can see, a very easy process to something that some people might deem as unrepairable or they may actually take their soldering iron out and try to solder on the whole actuator mechanism, which is completely unnecessary. So this is an incredibly simple fix, but an incredibly sure fix. We've been doing this for years with uh, 3GSs and also um, iPads with no issue and we've never had a warranty come back. So as long as you clean it up, 
place it on there in the center and work the capped on tape in so it adheres it you know pretty well um, you won't have any issues and it'll be as if it was oem never repaired before so i appreciate all of y'all watching if you enjoyed this video go and hit the like button don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also don't forget to comment below on what you want to see in future videos but once again appreciate y'all watching and i'll catch you on the next video